So here we are at Sun City setting up the um, commercial worm farm. The first step of setting up the worm farm is to put up a wall at the bottom of the worm farm, cardboard and some shredded paper. This will make sure that the original worm castings and the bedding won't fall through the grates, which you can see on the far left. We also set up a wall in the middle so that we can set up a smaller space for the worms to make home and settle themselves in. Once they've done that, then we'll flow through to the rest of the pot. Then we take some lovely compost that's already matured and we place it on top of the cardboard just to make a nice base for the worms so they can settle in. And we'll just spread it out. And then we're ready for our next layer. And we're adding a nice layer of some fresh garden refuse, which looks more like a mulch. That'll give the worms something to feast on while they're getting settled. Again, just spread it out so we're making nice even layers up against the barrier. And wait for the dust to settle. More garden refuse. We've got some fresh stuff from the herb garden here. Lovely celery. Now we're starting to build a nice volume of organic waste there. Coming close to about halfway in the worm farm, which is pretty good. Again, working up our organic waste lasagna of some old potting soil that's gone in earth. The worms will help to process that into lovely microbial nutrient rich fertilizer. We're halfway. We're going to feed a little bit of water into the farm now, just before we put the worms in to make sure that the soil is nice and moist. If you do it halfway, then you make sure it doesn't just run off, it actually soaks into the soil. Okay, so here's our bucket of worms, a 25 litre here. As soon as you start to dig, you can start to see them come into the surface and they're ready for their new home. Do you want me to do that? Go. Try and not disturb them as much as possible so that they don't panic and they don't disrupt their cycle too much. There you go. And as soon as possible, we'll then cover them with some more compost. Cover them up because they don't like the light. Gonna add some more. There you go, can you go there, Godfrey? Cover them up as soon as possible. We love the wood chips in there. Nice mulch. We can just spread them out a little bit. Coming with the rest of that Godfrey. This compost is already quite moist. Okay. As you can see, we've got some shredded paper which we're adding on top of the compost. You want more? You got some more. I think we'll put that on the top. We should we put that? I think maybe yeah, let's check, we'll check all of it. I'd say so. And then put the same on top. Yeah, it sounds like a nice bed. So worms love their newspaper and their cardboard and shredded paper. Adds carbon into your soil. It's so easy for them to process. So settled in the house, they'll then start moving around and 
start feasting on the lovely carbon source that we've provided for them. It's an amount of some carbon. We've got our final layer of organic waste, Just to put your all on. which is your lovely potting soil. soil, and that can just be sprayed onto the mix. Lovely. And then just dispersed around the remainder of the farm. Frog. We've already got some wildlife moving in here, which is always nice. The farm's already full of life. <laughs> There's the final layer, leaving the farm about three quarters full. Just under that. Okay. Giving the worms lots of lovely organic matter that they can it's fun, eh? nest in and start to process. They won't eat that. They won't eat a rock, no. <laughs> Good job. Now that we've got our original section set up here, you can see that there's the cardboard that is separating the unused section. Now that we've set it up at the bottom is the fresh cardboard. After a period of weeks, that will break down through the moisture and the general decomposition process. And so will the cardboard become wet. After a period of time, that will start to decompose. And as that starts to decompose, the worms will start to form their worm castings, which are more solid than your compost. A lot more muddy-like, a lot more clay-like, and that will allow that worm casting to set up a nice solid wall on top of those grapes if you can see the bottom there. And when they are ready, they can then be harvested out using a grubber from the bottom. So it's a lovely flow through system. We need to be sorting through half decomposed matter and disturbing the worms. Worms stay in the middle of the farm. Compost is harvested from the bottom of the farm. No. So if you look closely, you'll see that there's a little bit of water dripping through the bottom of the farm, meaning that we've completely saturated the whole farm, and that's a good sign. So